Now, when humans play the game of Jenga, it takes skill, a little luck, and a steady hand. Now, engineers at MIT are now helping robots master the game, and the robots are coming up with some clever strategies of their own. Nima Fazeli is a PhD candidate in the Mechanical Engineering Department at MIT. He joins us now via Skype. Nima, thank you for joining us. Um, we know and we right, see the robot is behind you. Now, for years, AI can already beat us at chess, at Go, at these types of games. So why did it take so long to build that robot, a robot that can learn how to play Jenga? Great question. Thank you for asking. Um, so at its heart, Jenga captures many of the challenges that we face in manipulation and sort of when robots have been learning to play chess, have been learning to play Go, they've always been dealing with a situation in which they can really see the entire information from the game and every move that they make is deterministic. They can decide any move and it will happen. Uh, Jenga is difficult because basically when you take an action, you're learning about the world, about blocks that move, blocks that don't move, and understanding how the mechanics of the world work as well. So. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of missing information that the robot has to learn for us before it actually can play the game effectively. Yeah, so how so did kind of, you oh, let the robot learn? How, how did you train the robot to do this? That's right. So the robot basically has access to sort of like a representation of, of the physical world. And this representation is, is basically a clean slate. It's basically, it doesn't know anything before it, it learns. And so just through interaction, through an exploration phase, the robot goes and pokes the tower, plays with it a little bit, sees how it behaves, and sort of fills in this representation, kind of fills in a descriptive representation of the world. And so once it's learned how the world works mechanically, that's when it can really play the game. That's when it can go in, poke blocks, say, oh, this is going to move. I should keep pushing this, and I should move shit like this, or this is not going to move. I should probably stop pushing this block at this point and move on. <laughs> and so that's kind of how it plays the game. So your lab has basically built this tactile learning system. Are there big applications beyond Jenga, like in manufacturing? Yeah. So we are hoping that the technologies that we are developing here will be useful in particular for industrial automation. So mm -hmm. this is basically where you have really big production lines and you have um, right now many workers doing very, very boring and often very ergonomically uncomfortable things like assembly. And so the objective is to have robots kind of uh, fill in or help out. Um, and so, for example, in assembly, you'll have like a press fit where you're trying to put the back of your phone onto your phone. There's a sort of, um, there's a visual part of information that is a tactile part of information. And so yeah. you want to have your robot go in there, try to do this fitting, get it right, move on. And we want to have rapidly learning systems so that they can keep up with the demands of manufacturing lines these days. Yeah, theoretically, that is really cool. But in real world terms, is this a robot that's going to not just beat us at Jenga, but also take our jobs? Because that's going to hurt. <laughs> uh, no, basically, uh, the idea is that it will take over some of the things that are um, really not necessary for people to do and free them up to do other things. So in many ways, it will be a collaborative robot. It will be able to interact with other people. It will be able to work alongside other people. and. Um, to sort of free up people to kind of uh, do the more difficult, more interesting things that right now they're not able to do <laughs> because they're bogged down in really menial work. Like playing chess? No, wait. Anyway, let's continue the conversation <laughs> another time. Nima, we'll leave it at that. But thank you so much Thanks. for sharing your findings with us and your robot. They're right behind us. Take care. Thank now you.